UK border agency is at war with smugglers in the ports and airports. You don't have to say anything. Get that out of my face. Coming up, Martin uses charades to interrogate a suspect. Who's that? So whether he's a recreational user or not, we can't establish anything at the moment because he can't speak English. A duty-free fraudster gets caught in the act. He was going out and he just asked him to borrow people's boarding cards. He said, lend me your boarding card, I'll get you a pint. And the dogs sniff out a suspiciously large amount of cash. I was thinking of buying a, a car down there. A car? Yeah. As a customs officer, OK, yeah. I can't always believe what people tell me. Gatwick's departure lounge. A passenger's been spotted buying tobacco with other people's boarding cars, and UK border officer Mike has been called in to investigate. We've had a call from the duty free shop that told us that someone has bought a large quantity of cigarettes and tobacco. So, what people do is they get a couple of boarding cards or get someone else to buy the goods for them. Apparently, they're sitting in the pub. Anyone flying within the EU has a duty-free allowance of 200 cigarettes. But criminals steal boarding cards to non-EU countries like Turkey and illegally purchase thousands of cigarettes. It's known as carousel fraud. Hey, guys, how are you? Just bought quite large quantities of cigarettes. Would that be correct? Yeah. Where about do you want to do today? But the man realises the game is up. I'm lying, I'm going to Malta, he's got a call with his Right, okay. Have you got a boarding pass for Malta? Yeah. Can I have a look at that? Yeah. Are you all flying to Malta? No, no he's they are going to Turkey. Oh, okay. Yes. Can I see all your passports, please? They now need Thank to you. work out who's to blame. No, it's just my brass, we got a place out there. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's not it's just, it's not it's just a deal right there, it's the boy here. I mean, yeah, I know. What we have to do is they buy large quantities of cigarettes and then they evade the controls by switching all the domestic to get some. Oh, no, no, no. They rebook in their flight. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we definitely need to make sure that you get on your plane with your cigarettes yeah. and that you don't just walk out the airport. If you just wait there a minute, we'll be able to do that. The mic suspects the culprit may have to be arrested. Just need to make sure I leave with it. No, he should be nicked for that. Why should be nicked for it? because you're not allowed to buy them going within the EU, even if you're afraid, because he's taken them EU. We'll see them report it, because they fraudulently use these. Hello, can I just run this past you, please? You know we've just been called up to duty-free land. Some geezer has got his mates who are flying to Bodrum to buy him 4,000 fags, um, and he's flying on to Malta. And he's admitted he knows he's done wrong, but they're so expensive out there. He's got to come down, really, isn't he? All three, all three of them, or season report, but it's an absolute offence, isn't it? Because it's a fraudulent. I think he'll need to come down. OK, if you collect your bag. The two passengers flying to Turkey will be allowed to leave. Yeah, the imagine carousel right. fraudster going okay. anywhere. What you've done so far is an absolute offence, which sorry. means... At the moment, time is 13.25. I'm placing you under arrest on the suspicion of being involved in the fraudulent invasion of excise goods. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm the defence if you do not mention when questioned something. You may later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? OK, we're just going to go down to our customs suite now. Am I going to make my flight today? Not looking likely. What we're going to do, though, we're just going to take you downstairs. OK. Um, we may seize the goods from you. We may need to ask you some more okay. questions. At the moment, I can't say whether you will make your flight or not yet. All right. OK. It may seem harsh for a few cigarettes, but the man has attempted to evade hundreds of pounds in tax. And if he's done it before, he may be going to jail. In Manchester, a flight from Paris has just arrived. Border officers have intercepted some suspicious baggage which started its journey in South America. Okay, one. These are the name of Lopez. Border officers are always on the lookout for anything suspicious. And it's the names on these bags that rang alarm bells. 
it's just the fact that they're, they're two similar cases with two different names, which smugglers have been known to, to use a method which we call the switch bag. They'll have two bags, one with drugs in and one just clean bag, depending on whether they get stopped or not. Depends which one they pick up. The bags go back on the carousel. Yes, then. While Martin keeps watch to see who yeah, picks them up. The officers now need to try and communicate with the passengers to find the source of the coke hit. These bags, they belong to you. Yeah. Spanish? No, Chilean. There may be a language barrier, but there's some words the son seems to understand. Cocaine, heroin? No, cocaine, heroin? No. Okay. The officers decide to swab the son's belongings first. The suspicions about cocaine were correct. But often coke hits can be caused by personal use. And working out the cause here will be easier said than done. Quite high hits of cocaine, I think, inside the gentleman's bag. Um, Unfortunately, because they're non-English speakers, we can't really question to establish anything about misuse or anything. So, so whether he's a recreational user or not, we can't establish anything at the moment because he can't speak English. In Gatwick, the flight to Malta is about to depart, but one passenger looks increasingly unlikely to be there in time. What duty free said is that he was going out. He was going out apparently, just asking to borrow people's boarding cards so that he could buy. He said, lend me your boarding card. And they said, yeah, well, I'll, I'll get you a pint. And that's what he And that's where he's in there. Well, yeah. that's how it works on the boats going Of course it does. Of course, of course it does. does. Oh, that's what he's done. He don't know. No way. I've got one with you. The cigarettes okay. will definitely be seized. But the officers are waiting to hear back from the investigation team to find out if the man is going to be charged. His flight's due at 15.30, departure time. Gate closes at 15.10. Obviously, depending on how official we need to be about it, is whether or not he misses his flight. Obviously, he's committed an offence, so if he misses his flight, that's his own problem. As the fags get bagged, the news comes in that the man won't want to hear. Unfortunately, I spoke to the investigation team. They do want us to take you down, and they'll question you down there, OK? So we'll be moving in a couple of minutes. With the illegal cigarette trade robbing over a billion pounds a year from the Treasury, the man's crime is being taken seriously. Hello, boss. Would you mind doing us a favour? Would you be able to contact British Airways and just say that he won't be making his flight? But it's just so that they don't hold the gate open and keep calling his name if he's not going to make it. All right? All right, lovely stuff. The man Cheers. is in serious trouble with the law, and his travel plans are in ruins. Now, would you like somebody informed that you have been arrested and that you are here? Um, the thing is, she's in Malta, that's it. They're going to be waiting no for me that end. Doesn't matter where in the world I mean, they it's are. just I don't want to scare her. I mean, can I speak to her or not? I'm you not. can indeed, yes. Hello, darling. Is Mummy there a minute? Huh? Is she asleep? Um, all right then. Um, oh, it's just the flight. There's a problem with the flight. It's. I'm really late. Yeah, I've run a later. The flight's been delayed. Tell Natalie not to leave to the airport until I phone her. There's an engine problem or something. I don't know, but leave, leave Mummy asleep. Don't wake her up. All right, then. Bye, bye. The man is locked up until the investigation officers arrive. They later charged him with evasion of excise duty. And he's now awaiting sentence. Back in Manchester, there's more family problems. Officers are trying to communicate with the family from Chile, whose bags gave large hits for the cocaine. Martin decides to play an unusual game of charades to work out if the son has used any drugs whilst abroad. Papa, Mama? Yeah. Who's there? Yeah. Yeah. One, one time. Soon. Days. Who's there? Once. Yeah. 
Under pressure, One day, the son admits two days, using three cocaine. Days, uh, two, three weeks. Two days ago. Okay. So it's okay, so it's okay, yeah. Out of earshot of his parents, the son clears up the okay. source of the coke hit. Mama, Papa. Mama. And Martin promises to keep the confession under wraps. And knowing the son has used, speeds mm. up the search. Could be in trouble with his mummy and daddy, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not with us, but mummy and daddy. It also makes it easier to rule the family out as smugglers. Because the gentleman had been cooperative with us, the family had been cooperative, there was no need to involve his mother and father. The guys are adults. I also find people more truthful if you take them to one side, out of the presence of their parents. If I'd have managed to, if, I, if I'd have been able to ask that question directly to his, in front of his parents, I don't think he would have been as honest. I asked him the question, have you used cocaine? He said he had once. I asked him how long ago, he said two to three weeks, and that is borne out by the Thank presence you. of the, the traces in the areas we found. Thank you. Adios. Adios. Bye. 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 Coming up, the dogs sniff out a suspiciously large amount of cash. I was thinking of buying a, a car down there. A car? Yeah. As a customs officer, OK, yeah. I can't always believe what people tell me. Coming up, the cash dog sniffs out a suspect. I was thinking of buying a, a car down there. A car? Yeah. As a customs officer, OK, yeah. I can't always believe what people tell me. At Manchester Airport, a flight has just arrived from Pakistan. Officers are on the lookout for drug smugglers and have pulled over two men for a bag search. Yeah, mate, just bring your bag down here for me. Pakistan is a known source any country the for heroin, and officers conduct initial swab tests for any traces. There's been a recent surge of heroin seizures coming in from Pakistan. Surprisingly, Officer Gary gets a small hit for cocaine from his passenger's suitcase. Having got an initial trace, Gary swabs the man's clothes for any further hits. He said he hasn't used for three months, but he, he's a regular user of cocaine, which will be here, which he uses the cocaine because it's not very uh, accessible in, in Pakistan. <laughs> But this time, he gets an even bigger hit for heroin. It's given heroin hits. I need an explanation, basically, from where they're coming from. It could take a while to get to the bottom of this one. In Gatwick South Terminal, UK border officers are targeting a flight to Jamaica, looking for money connected to crime using sniffer dog Toby. Just lower your bag for me. Just a quick customs check. Toby's job is to find large amounts of Just cash. Anything more than a thousand. Thank you. And handle a mark for one to investigate Thank you, further. Hiya. Are you carrying any money with you today? Yeah. How much you roughly have with you? I do have about 10,000 from the bank. How much I have? 10,000 pounds. Do you want to come over here, sir? Leaving the country. How many of you travelling? The dog has detected some currency, and you've said you're carrying about ten thousand pounds. Is that? Is that all your money? Yeah. Okay. Who wants to know what the money is for? I was thinking of buying a car down there. The car that you're going to buy. Yeah. Do you know what you're going to buy? It's a Honda. A Honda. And how much are you going to spend on it? Think about two thousand. about two thousand or two hundred. You got ten grand there, though. Yeah, but I'm, I'm the man's explanation yeah. becomes confusing. That's about one pound five. I'm back to one pound five. What are you going to do with the rest? Do the bag alone. Rest of the money. That's two thousand five. <coughs> two thousand five hundred. No, the car cost one pound four or five million. How much are you going to spend on the car? Yeah. Um, this car I'm trying to have a forget the right. I'm trying to have a forget the right. One pound three, one pound four. Say again, say slowly. I'm going to try and get it by like, what, 1.3, 1.4 million. Right, which in, in sterling, in, in English money, how much are you going to pay? That would be like, what, 9,000 or 9,000 yeah. for Honda. Yeah. And how old would that be? Huh? How old would the car be? 
The cars in Jamaica are very expensive to buy second-hand, aren't they? Yeah. yeah? yeah. So you're going to be prepared to spend like 10,000, nearly 10,000 pounds on a 2002 car. Paul thinks the story sounds what suspicious. It is, as a customs officer, yeah. I'm interested in, as I said, large amounts of currency that are leaving or entering the UK. You have a substantial amount of cash with you today. OK, that's the reason I'm taking so long with it. As I said, I there's not going to be so much problem. I didn't have to take it with me. Do you have any details of a car that you might want to buy with you? No, it's an under, yeah? So, I think it's an under card, yeah? It's a spoiler and everything. I don't have no details. You don't have any... Could you provide those sort of details? Can you provide details of the bank loan to me? I can provide details. Yeah. And the process. Not, not now, this minute. Not now, this minute. Because, because can I just see the money now I've searched the bags again? Huh? Can I just see the money again, please? That's okay. a different one. What's how many's in here? Um, there is 5,000. And the other one? 5,000. Let's have a look. And the other? Two bucks, sir. How much have you got together? How much have you got all together? Indeed. Yeah. 10,000 altogether. Yeah. Okay, what I need to do is to you hold on to your money. Yeah. If you wait there, I've just got to do a couple of checks, OK? If Paul thinks the cash has criminal connections, it will be seized. The man's up. holiday could be over before right. it's begun. Got seven, they've got seven checks in bags, unfortunately, between them all. There's three of them travelling. The 10,000 belongs to the one person. It's from a consolidated loan. There's no documentation regarding the, the money, apart from the envelope it's in from a bank. Um, it says it's going to cost me about £500 a month to pay it back. Yeah, it's all to buy a car in Jamaica. Buy a car? Yeah. So they've got family over there? He's Jamaican. He's oh, from he Jamaica. Lives there, no, he lives here. He works Why is he here. Going to buy a car in because he's over there a lot. With no evidence where the £10,000 came from, Toby may have helped find cash intended for drugs. Have you done a PNC at all? Paul wants to find okay. out if the man has a criminal record. But with the flight now nearly ready to depart, time is running out. How long um, before the gate closes? Well, it's supposed to go at five past. Right. OK, got a few minutes. I don't know, yeah. OK. okay. Back in Manchester, Officer Gary has found a high trace of heroin from a passenger's clothes who's travelled back from Pakistan. OK, now that, you see me swabbing the inside yeah, of his yeah. shoe when he's seen him swabbing the shoelaces. Yeah, yeah. Right, obviously you've had them on your feet. How long have you had them? About, about 48, 9 minutes. OK. Them. Anybody else wear them? No, just me. OK. Well, I've just swabbed the inside of them. When you're wearing these, you're going to sweat yeah. through your feet and you're going to sweat through your paws and your hands, yeah. right? Yeah, now I'm getting heroin hits and cocaine hits. Quite a strong heroin hit from yeah. the soles of them shoes. You used to smoke, used to smoke heroin? Yeah. OK. So while you've been in possession of them shoes, yeah. you've smoked heroin yeah, before yeah. and cocaine. cocaine? OK. When was the last time you used heroin or cocaine? About two or three months ago. Two or three months yeah. ago. I've been clean up now. You, you're clean up to now. You're registered heroin addict at all, or yeah. you have been, yeah? OK. The man's honesty about personal use explains the hit. But officers have a duty to investigate his belongings further to ensure he's not smuggling drugs into the country. Happy with that, I think. But officers are convinced that he's not drug smuggling and he's free to go. I'm not worried about anything, but I'm worried, obviously. I would be worried, I'd be sweating, you know what I mean? So I've got nothing to hide somewhere, like. Gatwick, the flight to Jamaica is nearly fully boarded, but the passenger is still waiting to hear if he'll be allowed to leave with his £10,000. Yes. So with your agreement, uh, can I go ahead and seize it? OK, 12 55 for the seizure of the money. It's not good news for the yep. passenger. I'm not satisfied what you've told me regarding the cash. OK, you're telling me it's come from a bank, but I don't know it that. Was, it was with your bank. 
Yeah, I know what you're saying, but listen to me. As a customs officer, OK, yeah. I can't always believe what people tell me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be a very good customs um, officer, would I? Yeah, and I know you could, you could prove it without... I can't do it here this morning. I will be holding on to the money today. I will be seizing this cash, this £10,000. Yeah. You're not under arrest, and you will, you're entitled to leave the UK and go on your holiday to Jamaica today, but you won't be taking the cash with you, OK? It doesn't mean that you won't be getting the cash back at some further stage. At the moment, I'll need to seize it for the purpose of a further investigation. Okay. okay? Will you be travelling on the flight today? Okay. That's fine. He's going to travel so he doesn't need to offload the bags. Yeah. With just seconds you just to spare, want the officers are here, now then. rushing to get the man on board. <laughs> 12.55. With 10 grand at stake, he wants yeah. to make sure all Can we just do this one? Correct. Do you want to get your flights? Yeah, but then... then right. is, uh, You've got a few minutes before the, the gate closes, OK? This is the receipt for the seized cash. That means I am taking £10,000 from you today mm -hmm. because I need further evidence from you to, to tell me where the cash is originated from and what the intended purpose is for. That's the reason I'm just seizing mm -hmm. the cash. OK, this is purely this is a receipt. The flight is going in a couple of minutes. Right, we're really signing. Really yeah. no, yeah? But the difference now, if I come to with two or three credit cards and still spend ten thousand pounds, yeah? then you've been alright. But your credit card has an audit trail. Cash yeah. does. That's that's problem. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but then you need, need, if you want to catch your flight, you need to get in the castle, yeah? Everything is as paperwork. So there's no application as paperwork, just just to go to the airport. I think you just need a passport and don't carry the contraband. Sir, listen. If you want to make your flight, you have to go on now. If you miss that flight, yeah, I don't even care because the insurance company still have a payment for money. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a last of time. The passenger's not happy, but he's made the flight, and it gives the cash team time to ensure the money doesn't have any links to crime. With cash, he came across as putting uh, up front about he was carrying the money, but I'm not satisfied with what the end use of the, ca the, the cash is for, um, with, with particularly with... Um, Bringing, uh, not saying this gentleman would be the case, but with drugs. Drugs are so much cheaper to buy qu uh, quantity wise in Jamaica, and you could buy a lot of uh, drugs for £10,000. I'm not sure that this, this man is totally involved in that, but people do. And obviously, um, if we can take the cash out at the beginning and do further checks, uh, more the better. The man who was carrying £10,000 in cash returned to the UK two weeks later, but his money remains with the border officers and the investigation continues.